Two West Point cadets recently spent time learning about military robotics and software programming at the U.S. Army Research Laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. The U.S. Military Academy and the laboratory collaborate each summer to support the institution's academic individual advanced development program. Cadets Benjamin Baumgartner and Devin Men work closely with their mentor, ARL aerospace engineer Raymond Von Walde, to program robots in a unique micro factory. At West Point, they let you basically build your own summers, and usually people go along with like what's in their major. Like uh, I'm electrical engineering, and he's uh, mechanical, so um, they select some sort of academic opportunity that kind of goes along with that. The cadets used a simple coding language on Microsoft Notepad to send instructions to a fingernail-sized piece of metal that levitated while moving above a magnetic field. The robot would pick up graphite materials and using water tension, assemble a microstructure. The exercise required logic and common sense to use the shortest amount of code possible to accomplish the desired results. I'm always impressed with uh, how quickly cadets rise to the challenge that I give them. They, they were confronted with a programming, a microfactory that they had never seen before and were able to maneuver the robot around very quickly. Von Waldi has been mentoring West Point cadets at the laboratory since 2000. For their future army leaders, I was once told to treat the cadets as if they were going to be heading the laboratory at some point. So I uh, show them the respect that they're due as uh, up and coming officers. During the final week of their visit, the cadets joined a training class on unmanned aerial vehicles with about 30 active duty soldiers and Marines. Both cadets had the opportunity to pilot a UAV and program it for an autonomous flight. I've learned a lot about you know what I came here to learn and a little more. I did a lot more coding than I thought I would be doing. And uh, I've been working with robots, which is really cool. As an Army officer, I think understanding how all these mechanisms work and how everything fits together is really important. Earlier this year, Brigadier General Cindy R. Jeb the U.S. Military Academy Dean of Academics toured the laboratory and met with ARL leadership. ARL Director Philip Percanti told her that the relationship between the organizations has been of great value to the laboratory as well as the future Army officers. We want future officers to understand our science and technology capabilities and our role in building and equipping the future force, he said. For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.